What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm doing a end of the year room tour. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in. So I'm starting here with my back to the door as soon as you enter the room. Normally don't have these blinds open, but I figured I need some natural light for the video. This is just kind of like a general overview of the room and everything we got in here. This is my work and play room because I do work from home. So it's my office slash game room slash Lego room. So this is kind of a general overview and we'll get more into specifics. As soon as we walk in right to the left, we have a small little table with an air filter and just the Wi-Fi router. Just above that, we have these two wall cubes. Got a couple Lego books, Lord of the Rings books and a fake little plastic plant. And then I guess technically another fake little plastic plant. This is the Lego bonsai tree. Got this cool lion clock. Then I have the McLaren Lego set with the picture frame. I got this off Amazon, it's pretty cool. If, I, if it's still in stock, I'll put the link in the description. And then just below that, just a reclining chair. And this door is just the closet going there. I could do a little more in depth in another video maybe, but as you can see, I got some of my backlog here of Lego sets that I still need to build and find room for. Biggest thing about Lego is finding room to put it all. Um, so yeah, these are all the unbuilt sets that I have. Just quick, give you a quick look. Home Alone, Joker's Mansion, Daily Bugle, the 1989 Batmobile, little Scooby-Doo set. Just got this one. Super Mario Plant. Couple Batman sets, bunch of retired stuff too. So things I need to build and find room for. Down below, I got all my Switch games. Thinking about doing a video of my whole Switch game collection and my backlog. So stay tuned for more. Just a file cabinet with a bunch of random stuff. Another set in my backlog. Let's take a peek. Let's see what this is. This, if anyone can already guess, is the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. So I do have this and since it's extremely massive, I need to find a space for it. But one day that will be built and I'm, I'm very excited to do that. Just got the PS5 box and then my little sneaker collection. Nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. Um, if any of you guys are into sneakers, maybe I'll do a video, but yeah. Don't really think I need to go too in depth there. Um, and then just the box for Starfield Collector's Edition, my uh, Tears of the Kingdom Switch, I almost called that Lord of the Rings, my original Switch box, and then just an extra controller case. So yeah, that's my closet, just packed with stuff. Come out of the closet, just got obligatory cat blankets and a cat strand for them to sleep in. Just some sports pictures, Yankee fans, so... Definitely need some Jeter in my life. Also a Patriot fan, so that's Gronk's catch from the Super Bowl against the Rams. Just some other pictures up there. A couple of knickknacks on the windows as well. Don't normally keep the blinds open, but like I said, just needed some natural light. And over in this corner, we have all of my Lego sets and some gaming collector's items. On the top, See, we have Bowser set, the Porsche 911, the A-frame cabin, and the treehouse. In this single cabin on the right, I have all my Star Wars figure sets. It's a lot of the characters that they've turned into Lego sets. On the bottom, I got Dio. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. So yeah, that's on the right side. In the middle is kind of a mixture between gaming and Lego. Starting at the bottom, we have Porsche 911 RSR. I want to get a similar background frame like that over there for this set. I know they make it, so I just have to get that. Just above, I have my video games, just my physical Xbox collection. As you can see, very small. Same with the PS5 collection. I showed that in my first video. Those are all the games I got myself. And then just a couple of collector's guides. That is the original God of War, or not the original, the 2018 God of War. 
and then the Gears of War 3 collector's guide. Above that, Tears of the Kingdom collector's edition. Underneath that, just the collector's edition guide. I like collecting the guides um, for some of my favorite games. I think up next I want to get a guide for Cyberpunk. And then to the right I got the Tall Neck set from the Horizon series. And I have my only two modular buildings, the Book Shop and Assembly Square. And on this shelf, I just have my Starfield Constellation Edition next to the Apollo 11 set. Thought that was pretty cool, too space themed on this shelf. Then just above, I have the Medieval Blacksmith set with the Sanctum Sanctorum. I got all the minifigures. I think eventually I'll get some lighting for this case, make it look a little more presentable, but for now, this gets the job done. Then on the left-hand side, I just have the question mark block, the NES set, one of my Scooby-Man set, actually two of them, the um, Mystery Machine and the Haunted Lighthouse. Below that, I have an alternate build of this set, Porsche 11. That's the alternate build of the Lamborghini Countach, the one from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. And then I have Darth Vader's castle down here. So it's a bulk of my Lego sets that I have on display. I've got a couple other ones around the room, but these are a majority of them. Just to the right of that, I have the stand with my Xbox and my PlayStation on it, and then my two controllers on display don't really use these I like to keep them in good condition and i think they look pretty cool on display so i kept them out like that and then just a book underneath this is like my gaming setup definitely need to get something else to put the consoles on but this gets the job done for now these frames i custom made oh, not really custom made all i did was Put a little brick and glued it to the frame and stuck the cars on but these are my speed champions got the frames from ikea then had to sacrifice some uh, two by two bricks and then i got two more on the other side of the tv but super easy to make i'm thinking about doing a video on how i made these it's pretty easy you do need to sacrifice some Lego bricks for super glue, but um, it's pretty easy. These cars can come off and I can swap them out if I want to. The big thing in the middle, that's the LG 65 inch, the LG C2 uh, 65 inch OLED. Uh, I love OLED TVs, I'm never going back. Um, this thing's absolutely gorgeous with these two consoles. Above the TV, I just have the Batwing, 1989 Batwing. Over to the right, I got a bathroom, nothing in there. And then my work setup, nothing too crazy. Eventually I'd like to move the work setup out of this room, but I don't think that will happen if we continue to live in this spot because it's not enough space for it elsewhere. But I do work from home and this is where I grind away working. It's kind of hard to stay focused sometimes with all that's around me, but I don't mind, it gets the job done. This chair is very comfortable. I caught it off of this site that refurbish, refurbishes office chairs. And this is a, I don't know if you can see that, a steel case chair. Uh, very comfortable. Lots of uh, arm adjustments and seat adjustments. So spending a lot of hours on the chair, I definitely don't notice it. So definitely recommend investing some decent money into a comfortable chair if you do work from home. This has been a lifesaver for my back. And the desk, uh, it's a $50 Facebook Marketplace find, which I think I got a pretty good deal. It's solid wood. I just painted the top white and left the bottom. It's natural colors. But it's a pretty massive desk. It's 63 inches wide by 30 inches deep. 
I really appreciate the depth on it. I think I got a great deal for 50 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. So definitely check your Marketplace listings. There's a lot of good stuff on there if you can find it and get to it quick. My keyboard is the Keychron, I wanna say K9. I honestly forget, mechanical keyboard, wireless. Gets the job done. It works with both my personal computer and work computer, so I needed something that was compatible with Mac and Windows, and this gets the job done. Then the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. Got that about a year ago, really like it. Have a wireless charger with my Samsung Galaxy Watch. Just a little building set my friend got me when he went to Colorado. Pegboard with some of the succulent sets. I have others dispersed around the house. Then some real succulents. This cactus has seen better days. I don't know how, but I killed the cactus. Oh well. A couple headsets. Above my computer, got a shelf with an aloe plant. In the middle, you can see the Batman tumbler. My first ever Lego set. Not first ever, but once I got back into the Lego, this was the first set I bought. And that was around last year, two years ago. Then the orchid set to the right. So yeah, this is my work setup. I didn't want to clean it because you know, this is how I live day to day. So there's always stuff on the desk. And you know, I wanted this to be a more real day of the life use of this office. And this is pretty much how the desk looks at all times. I always got stuff on it. So this is what it looks like. This is where I work and help fund all these Lego sets and video games. Let's do a little twirl. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about any of the stuff in this room and what you guys want to see next. Thinking about doing just a small little gaming collection of all the stuff video game related that I have. Maybe a more in-depth look at all the Lego sets that I have and in my backlog. And yeah, I just wanted to share what this room looks like at the end of 2023. So that way I can look back and kind of see all the changes that I'm going to make in the future and what it used to look like. So got a couple of changes in mind, but nothing too urgent that I need to go out and change right now. So yeah, right now I'm just living here, enjoying it and um, making use of what I got. I think that's a wrap, everyone. So thanks for tuning in.